So, Theta token and T Fuel, what the heck's going on? Uh, <laughs> T Fuel surged 775% in five weeks. Not too bad. If you listen to Digital Dave or Crazy Cryptos, he's the one that's been talking about T Fuel and Theta forever. And he's the reason why I got into it. So, thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. But uh, here's what's going on and why this is going just uh, crazy. So, Theta Fuel was created when the Theta mainnet launched in 2019. It's designed to be the operational token of the protocol powering on-chain operations like sending payments and deploying smart contracts. Now, right now, uh, you, can, you can send payments. You can, you can pay your, your favorite uh, influencer over there on uh, the Theta network. But as far as deploying smart contracts, I mean, this is just, I mean, it can happen. just hasn't really happened and taken off yet, which is like a lot of things uh, going on right now. Like Cardano has that functionality, but really it's just kind of opening things up. And uh, we're kind of getting into that phase of what this can actually do. The rubber meets the road, right? Uh, significant difference between Theta and other dual token models it, uh, is holders who stake Theta and validator and guardian nodes help secure the network and earn T fuel as a reward. So just as a little uh, refresher, um, we did a video over at danteacherscrypto.com uh, over on investing, or no, chapter five, or module five, how do I, it's called how do I stake theta. It's very easy, you just download uh, this uh, GUI, this graphical user interface, uh, download, and then you can just start staking your unused band, not staking, but staking the um, the theta, or actually now it's gonna be T-Fuel later on. And uh, what it does is it allows you to secure the network, and then your unused bandwidth they can use and you earn uh, theta, and now you're going to be uh, using T fuel. So that is essentially what it is in this little video up here. And I will link this in the description. It's at theta, thetatoken.org. But think about this. And I always talk about this. What are you doing right now? You're watching me. You're watching me on YouTube. Uh, what are a lot of people doing these days? Well, they're doing distance learning. They're doing distance meetings through Zoom. That takes a lot of bandwidth. YouTube takes a lot of bandwidth. What is the one of the biggest uh, sports that is uh, growing in the world today? It's eSports. So uh, to stream all those things and just to actually watch those things, you're going to need a lot of bandwidth. And that's what Theta does. It allows you to set up a node. You, they can take your unused bandwidth. They can shoot it around all over the place uh, that uh, has poor bandwidth. <laughs> like myself in this home in uh, Houston. And uh, you can get paid in Theta and now in T-Fuel. So it actually works out pretty well. And of course, this company is backed by like Steve Chen, co-founder of YouTube. You've got uh, the validator nodes of Google, Sony, Samsung, Binance, Blockchain, Gumi, Gumi, however you say it. And uh, it's got a lot of big people behind it. It's not competing with YouTube. It's working in conjunction with them. So I think it's going to be a massive play. And I think Theta is in the top, uh, I know it's in the top 20 right now. So this thing has really skyrocketed in there. Great. So where are we? Ah, uh, according to data from Theta Explorer, almost 58% of the 1 billion available Theta are staked on the network. Imagine that. 58% is staked. Theta is staked. If you take a look at uh, Cardano, you're looking at around 70, 80% is staked on the network. If you look at Ethereum, it's like 4%, 5% is being staked. So uh, take, just do your own research on that one. Anyhow, um, on March 10th, the figure has been slowly increasing as the project attracts more attention. And then to finish up, following the launch of Theta 3.0 on April 21st, April 21st, Theta 3.0, Token holders will be able to stake T fuel as another way to earn passive income and help secure the network. So right now you can only stake uh, the Theta token. And when I got in, you needed, uh, I think it was, yeah, it was 10,000 tokens. Then they reduced it down to a thousand as far as Theta tokens. And now they're gonna open it up just to, you can stake T fuel, which is great. So if you like passive income, like I do, this is the easiest way to do these types of things. Uh, the upgrade will also introduce a new burning mechanism is essentially a network fee for using the Theta Edge. So again, the more that they burn, the more that the supply reduces. If the demand increases, what happens to the price? It goes up. And uh, that's the big thing. But I think the reason why Theta went up so much uh, lately is uh, because of this. There was a hard fork yesterday, uh, March 10th at noon Pacific Standard Time. But it, it's not a uh, people always in crypto, they, they hear a hard fork and they think Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, or then whatever, and Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, or however that worked, I forgot. So 
usually these days there isn't too many hard forks where you have two different splits of the chain and you have two different tokens and you get a bunch of and you get two different tokens uh, and this one it's just hard forks are just upgrades that's essentially all they are and that's exactly what happened so i think people heard they heard a hard fork like i want to make some money let me get some theta and then whatever the new one is but that's not how it worked it was uh, the upgrade is focused on improving scaling and staking and reward distribution user wallets and guardian nodes are safe to continue using normally so that's the big thing and that's really all it comes down to so i have to tell you i gotta tell you i gotta tell you <laughs> let me find theta where are we theta network let me blow this up Theta network is number 15, top 15. Went up 24% in 24 hours, and we're looking at $7. Man, I remember when this, I remember when Theta was nothing. It was just, you know, one of those weird, wacky projects that were out there. So it's the same thing. Just go behind and take a look at, look at the white paper. What does it do? Does it have an actual use? Does it have an actual function? Take a look at the people, the team behind it, the people that are involved. And we just took a look at that real quick. And we actually, uh, on danteachescrypto.com, there's a section uh, called Do Your Own Research in one of the modules. And we actually, it was me and Ian Bellina, and we took a look at Theta for the five criteria, and we just kind of laid it all down of uh, you know why this was gonna be great. This was like six months ago. So go ahead and check the video out, but uh, I think it's gonna be big. It's one of the, uh, the holds that I have. And as you know, on this channel, I'm very biased to all, all the things that I hold and I talk about them a heck of a lot, it's because I hold them and uh, that's just the truth. So look, that is it for today. So first of all, you made it all the way in. Thanks so much, I appreciate it. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel tremendously. Also consider subscribing because a lot of things we talk about are time sensitive, especially with what's going on here. And uh, that is it. So thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.